Good evening. How was your weekend? I guess that it is raining up there because the sound is very, very poor. Can you hear me well? Okay. Okay. We will listen to the intro video while the orders come. New order of business and tonight begins our series, Future of Work. Imagine a work world with no commute, no corporate headquarters, maybe no office in the physical world at all. For Bob Flavin, Janet Hoffman, and Joseph Jaffe, the future is already here. These days we do so much stuff by teleconferences and things um, that it doesn't matter where you are. Like 42% of IBM's 350,000 employees, Bob Flavin rarely comes into an IBM office. We don't care where and how you get your work done. <laughs> On the day we met him, he was collaborating with computer scientists in British Columbia and Beijing from the on-call room of his local ambulance corps, where he works as a volunteer. You are in 60331. The workforce at the Accenture Management Consulting Firm is so mobile, not even the CEO has an office with his name on the door. There's no corporate headquarters. No. If you need a workspace, you reserve it like a hotel room, checking in and out at a kiosk. Having a big desk is a sign of status with lots of family photos and, uh, you know, and, and carpeting that's fluffy and nice. Is, uh, that is, is a vision of the past. Come on into the theater. In the future, more companies with scattered workforces and clients may do what the Crayon Marketing Firm has done and make their headquarters in cyberspace. There's our little rooftop. We had our holiday party here. Crayon's workers rarely meet in the physical world. I am uh, in Boston today. And I am on Long Island today. But their alter egos in the virtual world gather once a week. We're here in, uh, in our boardroom, and uh, you're here actually at the tail end of a status meeting. I never met Crayon's CEO in person. There you are. But we spent a couple of hours together in cyberspace. Our belief is that if we bring like minds together, no matter where they are in the world, we can actually create that connectedness as if we're actually here at the same place at the same time. If what matters is what you do, not where you are, who needs an office? Betsy Stark, ABC News, Crayonville in cyberspace. And tomorrow, imagine having summers off every summer. That is world news for this Monday. I'm Kate Snow for Charles Gibson and all of us at ABC News. Have a good evening. Good night. Okay, you have seen the introductory video? Hello. Class. Have you seen the introductory video? Don Mauricio? No. No? In no. Jefferson? Okay, and what about Angie? Have you seen the introductory video? No, teacher, not yet. Okay, you are supposed to work ahead, okay? But uh, if you haven't not seen it, at least you, you already hate it. I put it for you now. 
Do you understand anything about what is saying there? ¿Entendieron algo de lo que se decía ahí? Yes. What do you understand? Do you understand or you don't understand? Let me see, let me see. Do you want me to put it again? We are talking about what, teacher? The introductory video. The first video that you can see in the platform. Uh, For the fifth class. The fifth section. Do you want time to, to watch it? There in the platform? The, the lesson five teacher? It's the first video. It says intro video section five. Yeah. Uh... Yes, yeah, I saw I saw him. It's uh, a little difficult, but uh, uh, I'm trying to remember about what. Um, if you want, you can watch it right now. Each of you can watch it. You you will put that for all I, us. I already or... I, I already put it, but only the audio because of the. I cannot be sharing other videos here. Okay. But I can share the audio. Do you want to listen again? Yes. Please. To finish this course, we want you to sit, relax, and watch the last video with us. Feel free to take notes as you watch it. Finally from us, the virtual office for better or worse technology and globalization are creating startling changes in what it means to be on the job. Betsy Stark uh -huh. is tracking the new order of business and tonight begins our series, The Future of Work. I remember that. Imagine a work world with no commute, no corporate headquarters, maybe no office in the physical world at all. For Bob Flavin, Janet Hoffman, and Joseph Jaffe, the future is already here. These days we do so much stuff by teleconferences and things um, that it doesn't matter where you are. Like 42% of IBM's 350,000 employees, Bob Flavin rarely comes into an IBM office. We don't care where and how you get your work done. We care that you get your work done. On the day we met him, he was collaborating with computer scientists in British Columbia and Beijing from the on-call room of his local ambulance corps, where he works as a volunteer. You are in 6031. The workforce at the Accenture Management Consulting Firm is so mobile, not even the CEO has an office with his name on the door. There's no corporate headquarters. No. If you need a workspace, you reserve it like a hotel room checking in and out at a kiosk. Having a big desk is a sign of status with lots of family photos and, uh, you know, and, and carpeting that's fluffy and nice. Is, uh, that is, is a vision of the past. Come on into the theater. In the future, more companies with scattered workforces and clients may do what the crayon marketing firm has done and make their headquarters in cyberspace. Here's our little rooftop. We had our holiday party here. Crayon's workers rarely meet in the physical world. I am uh, in Boston today. And I am on Long Island today. But their alter egos in the virtual world gather once a week. We're here in, uh, in our boardroom, and uh, you're here actually at the tail end of a status meeting. I never met Crayon's CEO in person. There you are. But we spent a couple of hours together in cyberspace. Our belief is that if we bring like minds together, no matter where they are in the world, we can actually create that connectedness as if we're actually here at the same place at the same time. If what matters is what you do, not where you are, who needs an office? Betsy Stark, ABC News, Crayonville in cyberspace. Okay.
What is what it was about? Yeah, there is about the that the people don't need don't need to to uh, to go to the office like uh -huh. uh, it's uh because right now the uh, the people in the future in the future but they are talking about the future in the no, future, but the future is right now they the already future. have those kind of, of of virtual offices yes you are right uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. that uh, and that we are we are living in the future plus it's uh it's uh we don't we don't they don't care what uh, where you where are. We are where we are that's the they, care they is, only care that you do the the the, the work the job uh, that they the, want the, you to do exactly okay uh -huh. angie no the same idea i think the video is about the remote works yeah. i mean um and you, now for pandemic time, most of the, the people had to uh, work at home. Yeah, okay? exactly. exactly. And, 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 but they all, they have started this before, before the pandemic period. And I guess that for for the world, it could be the, the, the best thing. Because if you yeah, don't have to too. move from home to the office, you won't use your car. If you won't use your car, you don't need a, a, to spend on gasoline and you don't need, a, and the environment won't be a, getting uh, all that smoke from the, from the uh, cars, okay? Yeah, the, right. Less cars, yeah. less cars outside, uh, more fresh air and less yeah. pollution. Okay. Yeah. I guess that people should do that more instead of going to the office and pay the people according to the uh, work done. Because most people in some parts of Latin America go to the office, but they don't work. They don't do anything. If you check what they already have done, most of them didn't take a, a, a breakfast before getting to the office. So as soon as they get to the office, they started with a breakfast. They don't start to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. the, the people who is not responsible because I know there are other people that are responsible, but the people who don't, who, who doesn't care, it, or the, the human go to, to wear the makeup, to put the makeup on. And they started to work very, very late. And they don't, uh, they are not as good as they should be doing what they had to do. So for me, if they let them uh, do their job at their home, but they check that they have to do this job by the end of the day. And then they check if they have done the job. That will be more useful than uh, asking the people to go to work. Because being at work doesn't mean that you are really working. Okay, now let's check this. Uh, I think that the administration is the responsibility. Yes. yes. No, the, no, the employees, but, the administration is. The yes, but sometimes, well, at least in my case, uh, I have <clears throat> principals and sometimes the principals didn't know what has to be done, but I am, as a teacher, know what I have to do, and then I do it, okay? And I don't care if the principal checks my planification or not, I, I do it. I don't, I don't care if they don't, if they don't check uh, my, my lesson plans, I do it. 
and I develop it with my students. Sometimes the year passes and the principal never ever goes to a class to check how is my class going on. And they are supposed to do it. Okay, so it, uh, if you work because you like to work, you don't need somebody to be with you looking if you are working or not, okay? But sometimes you are not- Because uh, you are a responsibility. Yes, but uh -huh. sometimes you are, you, you are not happy with your job, okay? And then it's when you need somebody to supervise it. But not all the people need that because some people like to work because they like it. Okay, now uh, let's read this one. An education isn't how much you have committed to memory or even how much you know. It's being able to differentiate between what you know and what you don't. Anatole France. Okay, education isn't how much you have committed to memory or even how much you know. It's being able to differentiate between what you know and what you don't. That means that what you know, you already know it. And what you don't, you need to learn it. Okay, that is what is education about. And you are supposed to uh, to get uh, like files in your memory for each of the things that you learn, okay? And that's why uh, going to sleep is important because when you are sleeping, you put those that knowledge that you gather during the day in those files in your memory. That's why I told you that it's better if you reinforce what you have learned the very day that you take the, the, the lesson, because then you won't forget the important things. Some psychology says that there is more important to, to go to, to, to sleep or to rest, to have a good sleep than the than the eat yes the, than the, the hand because you can uh, become crazy if you don't have a good sleep yes or, uh -huh. it, going to sleep is very important for for the body and the body has a process that they started at nine at night uh, Every every single uh, organ from your from your body started a, a, a reset process when you are uh, sleeping. But if you are awake, you cannot do that process. That's why, uh, for example, people who who suffers from diabetics, the 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 doctor tell them that they had to, to rest at least eight hours a day because they tend to stay awake. And when they stay awake, they also tend to eat more and they don't have to eat more than necessary. Okay. Now, in this class, you will listen to a conversation about world history. Notice how they make reference to time in the past. Okay. Now, uh, about this, uh, keep it in mind or take notes. Do you know when World War I began? How long has the United Nations been in existence? How long were the Beatles together? Okay, those are facts about history, are things that already happened. 
Do you, any of you know the answers for those questions? Um, I think the, I think the World War I first began in 19, 1911. 19? 19, I think so, 11 or so, 11, uh, 12, 19, 1914. 1914, I think. Uh, 1914. Okay. Uh, how long has the United Nations been in existence? I guess that they started at the end of World War uh, II. Two. And how long were the Beatles together? We will see it. Uh, in the in the other years 15 years i think so i guess that it was just 10. okay now uh, we will listen to this conversation Join us in the last section of this course. We want you to answer the first type them in. I'm good at history. Part A, listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right, first question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation and find out the correct answers for the questions we asked at the beginning. So what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945 following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in 1960 and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say I was good at history? Uh, I meant geography. <laughs> okay. Do you want to listen again? Part A. Listen yeah. and... Okay, follow the reading. Practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation and find out the correct answers for the questions we asked at the beginning. So what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945 following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? 
Well, they started back in 1960 and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say I was good at history? Uh, I meant geography. Okay. Now, any doubts about vocabulary? No. You understand all, it, all of it? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, uh, two volunteers. I'm Steve. Okay, Mauricio and? And me, teacher. Okay, Rafael, go ahead. You first, Mauricio. Okay. Look, here is a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War first began? I think it began in 1917. Hmm. Uh, and how long has the United Nations been in exist? Oh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke, broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how I am doing so far? Not very well. Not one of the, your answer is correct. Okay, thank you. Now, other two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Don Dago, who else? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. You first, Don Dago. So, what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1980. Oh, 18. that's... 1918. 1918, sorry. Okay. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations formally started in 1945 following the end of the World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in <clears throat> 1960 and broken up in 97. Seven. So they were together 70, for 10, 70. 70. So they were together for 10 years and not five, uh, 50, 15. Okay. Did I say I was go good in history? I mean geography. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, other two volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Sofia, and who else? Me, teacher. Okay, Mauricio. First, Sofia. Okay, look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Mauricio? Yes, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, so I missed or, yeah? Steve, oh, let me give it a try. Oh, let me, let me give it a try. I am good at history. Okay. All right, first question. When did World War uh, one. 
begin? I think it began in 1917. Oh, and how long has the United Nations been in existence? Um, since Kennedy began president in 1961. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? And broke together for years. How am I? How I am I'm doing? Not very well. No one of your answer is correct. Okay, well, thank you very much. Bueno. Thank you. Okay. Now, by the end of this class, participants will be able to refer to time in the past using different ways. Okay, first here, I want to tell you that we have a different a past tense, okay? One is the simple past, the other is the present perfect, and the other is the past perfect, okay? You can see uh, the difference here. Simple past, we saw that movie yesterday. That is simple past. Present perfect. I have seen that movie twice. I have seen that movie twice, okay? Is present perfect. It started in the past, but still uh, important in the present, okay? And I had already seen that movie, but my friend hadn't seen it yet. That's past perfect. Okay, this is in past I had and seen in past participle. And here we have uh, the verb in past tense. And here we have uh, have uh, in base form plus the verb in past participle, okay? Now, referring to time in the past, a point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s, in the 1940s, over 60 years ago, okay? A point of time in the past. Okay, this is what I told you about here. Simple past is something that already happened. Okay. Now, a period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960s to 1970s for 10 years, okay? It's a period of time in the past. And then a period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Okay, has been. This is the present perfect. Since 1945, since World War, uh, to end them for about the last 60 years, okay? Here we have, again, rock and roll, disco, Madonna. The Madonna, uh, Madonna started in the past and continues. Disco is in the past and rock and roll 
Well, rock and roll is still there. Okay. Now, rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Okay. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. Okay. Any questions about this? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me. What is your favorite song of Madonna? <laughs> uh, eh... Like a virgin. <laughs> like a virgin. No, like a virgin. Touch for the very first time. <laughs> no, my favorite song is I, Papa I also, Don't Preach. I, I also like Papa Don't Preach. Ah, Papa Don't Preach. Uh -huh. Papa Don't Preach. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And yours? What's yours? My favorite is Papa Don't Preach. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> now, a period of time that continues into the present from 1945 and now. Okay. The United Nations has existence, existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years, okay? That is present perfect, from the past to the present, okay? Referring to time in the past, a point in time. Examples, since last year, since Tuesday, okay? Since last year, since Tuesday. It started in the past, but it continues in the present. For a length of time, for two weeks, for three hours, okay? From 1914 to 1918, World War one lasted from 1914 to 1918, okay? World War II, no, in this case is one. World War One lasted for four years, okay? From 1914 to 1918 is World War I. Okay, we have the Knowledge check. Okay, take a look and read the following paragraphs. You may complete it with the words in, during, ago, since, for, from, to. Just type the word, no capital letters or periods are needed. Okay. Now we first will read it. You can read it well there. Or do you want it uh, larger? It's okay. You can read it well there? Okay. Uh, follow the reading. Rock music has been popular more than uh, 50 years. The Bills were a well-known English band the 1960s. They performed together 
10 years. 1960, 1970. In 2003, the Beatles released another album even though two of the original members had already died. The album was recorded 1969, nearly 40 years. Okay, now we have to complete the paragraph. Okay, number one, rock music has been popular Of or four. Four. Four more than 50 years. For the me, middle it's in. In. Huh? in. In. The rock yes, music yes. has been popular. Do you think it's in? In. Are, are you sure? Yes. Mm. Okay. Let's it's check in, with in. you. Let's check with him now, because it says more in more than 50 years. Sounds not good. Okay. The Bills were a well-known English band. During. During. Okay. <clears throat> the 1960s, they performed together for 10 years. For 10 years. From. From. From 1960 to, to 1970. In 2003, the Beatles released another album even though two of the original members had already died. The album was recorded in 1969. In 1969, nearly four years. Nearly four years ago. Ago. Okay. Now, paragraph two. Two thousand three. In. Since. In. In two thousand three. The United States launched two Mars exploration spacecraft. Their mission was lasted. Lasted more than a year. What is missing here? Hello. I guess four, it's hard, four. but I don't remember. <clears throat> uh, four. It's from four. Four. Lasted for more than a year was to gather information about the rocks, soil, and atmosphere on Mars. 
using rovers called Spirit and Opportunity. The rovers functioned longer than anyone expected. Scientists thought they would last For only. For only. For only uh, four months on Mars. That time they have sent back thousands of live pictures of the surface of Mars. Sería during them. During that time. Since? During that time. Okay, let's check. Wait a minute. No le gustó during us. ¿Y qué sería ahí? That time they have sent time, maybe time. In, in that time. No, mm -hmm. it's since, since. since. since? Since it's okay. Okay. okay, since it was. Okay, now, uh, the ones that have not had the answers. Number one, in. Number two, during. Number three, four. Number four, from. Number five, to. Six, in. Seven, ago. Number one, in. Two, four. Three, four. And four, since. Okay, now let's read it all together. Eh, Dagoberto Rodriguez, start it please with the, with the missing words already. One. Yes. Rock, rock music has been popular uh, in more than 50 years. Okay. The Beatles... Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Rafael Dagu. Word teacher. The Beatles were. The Beatles were a well known English band. Since. Me see. Since. Uh huh. So, Yes. Since the 1960s. Since the 1960s. Okay. Now, uh, Mauricio, continue. They performed together for 10 years, for 10 years. Okay. Now, Angie. It's not there? Yes, I'm here. Uh-huh. Um, from 1960 uh, to 1970. Okay, thank you. Now, Sophia. In 2003, the Beatles released another album even though, even though, though two of original members have already died, the album was 
birth in 1969. Okay, now Jefferson. Uh, since nearly, teacher. Nearly? Nearly four years ago. 40, 40 years? Sorry, sorry. 40 years is ago, teacher. Okay, 40 years ago. Thank you very much. Now, Jefferson, you started here. In 2003, the United States Launched to Mars Exploration Spacecraft. Okay, thank you, Angie. Angie, here, here I am. Um, sorry. Their mission. During right. No, their mission which lasted. Their mission, which which lasted since no. uh, more than for, a year, for more Do, than for, for more than a year, was to gather information about the rocks, soil, and atmosphere on Mars using a rover's called Spirit and Opportunity. Okay, thank you very much, Sophia. The rovers function, function and function longer than anyone expected, especially so they will last for only four months. For only four months on Mars. Okay, now Mauricio Morales. Um, no. Uh, since that time, they have sent back thousands of of lead pictures of the, this surface of Mars. Okay. Mars. Of live live pictures. Of light, the surface of light Mars. Picture, uh -huh, live picture of the surface of Mars. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, interesting readings. Uh, do you know those facts? I didn't know that the Beatles launched um, an album in, in, in 2003. That was recorded in 1969. I didn't have, I didn't know that that information. Do you know that? No. No. Okay. Then I was not the only one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know about the rovers. Okay, spirit and opportunity. And but. It seems that this this is written by by someone from United States because they didn't say anything about what is China during in, uh, doing in Mars right now. <laughs> they are giving more information than the one that United States other. They already know that uh, years ago uh, in Mars they, they had water just as here in, in, in on Earth. They had water as we have here on Earth. Remember that I, I, I think that I told I already told you that uh, years ago, uh, the sun uh, was brighter than life in Earth 
life on earth cannot be as it is right now because it was too hot. But in Mars, there could be life because Mars was like earth nowadays. Okay, because the sun was brighter and then Mars was not cold because Mars is too cold right now. That's why they had the water uh, in frosted parts because it is uh, the, the sun is not as hot as it was before. Do you know that? ¿Ustedes sabían eso? No, I'm really not. No. No. Yeah, eh, eh, the sun is losing eh, its energy. Okay. There will be a, a, a time when we won't have a sun. Va a haber un tiempo donde ya no vamos a tener sol. Yes. In the, in the land. Yes. That was a that was a very cool planet. It, well, it, all, all the stars, since our, our sun is a star, all the stars had a, a cycle and they ended in different ways. So there are some that uh, are, uh, uh, that become supernovas and that there are others that become, uh, get together with another, with another, uh, a star and, and then they are two two stars in the same uh, uh, planetarium and there are there are others that explode no implode and become a, a black hole black hole uh -huh. So those, those are the different, pro, probably uh, sets for the suns, for the stars. And our sun is a star, okay? Now, any doubts about the exercise so far? Have you finished it up to 5.4? ¿Lo terminaron hasta el 5.4 ahorita? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Ok, great. Now, please try to uh, study this again and try to get ahead with what is about to happen. Uh, we are going to talk about a future tense, but as in past tense, we also have different ways to talk about future, okay? And then see you tomorrow. We will finish this tomorrow. And on Wednesday, we will be finished the reading, reading practice. And at the end, we will see uh, the final test the final test, but as we check uh, the midterm on Wednesday. And on Thursday, we will finish uh, the, the test if you haven't finished, and then you are 100%, okay? Okay. okay. Any doubts you may ask at WhatsApp. Take care, see you tomorrow. Thank you, good night. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks. Bye. See you.